I'm confident someone's already thought of this, but I just want to put it out there in case they haven't. How fucking cool would it be if TikTok did like their own dating app or like even in the app, its own like dating section. Like, hear me out. How cool would it be if you could make like a one to two minute video, like introducing yourself, explaining your interests, whatever. And then like, um, once a day, what it would do is show you like three matches of other people who are like opted into the dating, um, TikTok. And it would be like, Hey, we think you and this person would be compatible because you guys have similar algorithms. You guys both like videos that have the hashtag like football or like the hashtag skiing or whatever. And because the algorithm's so advanced, be like, hey, based off what we can tell by what you guys like, you guys have similar interests. Wouldn't that be so fucking cool? I've never heard of TikTok being used as a dating platform. With just the TikTok shop feature, millions of people use this app every day. Sure. A dating service similar to Tinder might work, but you just submit a few photographs and videos of yourself. In addition to your interests and activities, you should include a profile picture. Perhaps it can filter the types of tags you look for on your page. The algorithm may require a day or two to register everything. Also, consider filtering by location, if you prefer people closer to you or can you handle large distances. I believe that could work out as a trail example or something, but this was the first video I saw when I looked into TikTok dating. We need to talk about something very serious. So TikTok is being used as a new dating app, which is cool. You know, I don't have Tinder or Bumble or anything like that. And I'm not opposed to dating apps. And I'm not opposed to using TikTok as a dating app, except y'all don't have profile pictures. You don't have names. You don't have videos. So when you hit on me and be like, hey, yo, what up? Can we talk? Yeah, we can absolutely talk, except your profile picture is a dragon, and so in my mind, a dragon is hitting on me. Also, you could be a serial killer. You could be a serial killer, so I need to thoroughly vet you. I need to stalk your sister, your mom, your grandma, your aunt on Facebook, and I can't do that if you don't have a name. If your name is Piggly Wiggly, what do you, what am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with that? And I'm being 100% serious. I am willing to talk to people if I know they're a real person. I have dated... A guy off TikTok. I've met multiple guys off TikTok. One I dated very seriously for a few, couple months, and I'm not really gonna claim him because, like, oh, but like I did because you know why? Because he had a profile picture, he had videos, I knew what he looked like, and he was cute and funny. So, you know, I talked to him. I'm just out here trying to find my husband and not trying to get murdered. So please send me your boyfriend applications. Please send me funny pickup lines. I will answer you. As long as you have a profile picture and a name. And you are not old. Old men, you are disqualified for uh, ever. Thank you. This lady met a gentleman on TikTok since he had a profile photo. He was both funny and cute. Everything appeared that things didn't work out for whatever reason. What if the person does not want to publish public video of himself but is willing to provide proof in private messages? Is this a deal breaker? She also stated that a guy was flirting with her, despite the fact that his profile photo was of a dragon. So, I'm guessing that turned her off. She stated that she wants a husband. Well good luck with that. I don't think you will be finding him on TikTok though. I could be wrong. Okay, so I've been single for like three months now. I've tried the dating apps, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, all bullshit. Nothing good comes from them. It's a waste of time. Um, and one of my Tinder guys was like, let's delete them all together and just, mm. so I did. And life is definitely better without them. But how the fuck am I supposed to meet people? Single mom of three. I go to three places, Costco, the gym, the kids school. There's no men there. I go to an all female gym. Where the fuck am I supposed to meet people? So I saw this other guy on TikTok and he's using TikTok as his dating app. So I'm jumping on board as well, and there's a few things that I've learned that you need to know about me before you hit me up. So, from here on out, any guy I meet or see or text, I'm going to just direct them to this video and be like, listen, go through it. If you like, great, continue talking. If you don't get on with any of those points, don't even respond. We're good. It's probably going to have to be a two, maybe three-parter, but I'm going to start with the most important first. Number one. I belch like Homer fucking Simpson. Like, ask anyone at the gym or anyone who's been in my presence for more than 15 minutes. It's huge. Let me see if I can get one for you. We'll come back to that because they're spontaneous. 
Anyways, number two, foot phobia. The biggest foot phobia. I loathe feet more than fucking... I'm not going to say, but I fucking hate feet so much. I promise to the man of my dreams, if you're out there, I will love every inch of you from the ankles up. Moving on. Number three, I am 30 years old, okay? And I have a blankie. Sleep with it every night. Take it on long car rides. If I go to a sleepover, cottage, whatever, it's coming with me. Here she is. Yes, I stole it from the hospital. My tax dollars paid for it, okay? Um, Yes, I know someone probably shit, pissed threw up, died on this blanket. I plan to die on this blanket. And if um, you don't bury me or cremate me with this blanket, I'll come back and haunt the fuck out of you. I'm running out of time and there's so much more to share. So like and follow for part two and three and four and five probably. How do you tell the difference between somebody that just wants something casual or genuinely wants to have a relationship with you? Here is one simple trick that you can implement to be able to tell the difference. And it's not, do they text you every day or not? Or are they planning dates consistently? Yeah, because somebody that wants casual can also do that for a certain amount of time versus somebody that genuinely wants to build a relationship over time with you. But the biggest differentiating factor between the two is when you are out with this person, are they asking questions about you? Are they trying to get to know your life? Are they trying to understand things about you, your family, your history, who you are, what makes you you? Or are you guys just having a great time? Everything is just so much fun, but there is no depth to the conversations. There isn't a lot of vulnerability and they're not really opening up. A lot of people are great daters. There are a lot of people that you can have an incredible time with. And then you stop to think and realize, oh, wait a minute, that's true. We didn't have any depth to the conversation. It was just a lot of fun. Because trust me, somebody that wants something casual doesn't want to sit there and talk about anything vulnerable with you besides when those clothes are coming off. Yes, if you sought a casual hookup, don't expect an emotional connection with your partner because that is not what this encounter is going to bring. When most men have intimacy with a woman, they do not become as attached to her as a woman would. As opposed to a genuine relationship, the person you are sleeping with will most likely have some personal conversations with you before taking off their clothes. This TikTok creator makes some valid arguments, but if you meet someone on Tinder or another hookup dating app, then expect nothing more than a smash and pass situation. Most women nowadays prefer to have sex rather than find a relationship, and this is what they ask for. What are you, oh my god, what are you doing? I have to change my top. Oh, pause. We're going on a date right now. I know, but... I, okay, well maybe this is fine. Like, I feel more comfortable just in this. Okay, that sounds good. How to get in a guy's head. How to make him freaking obsessed with you. Now, I don't know if you're gonna wanna do this because they are going to be all over you. There will be no more chasing needed by your end. They're gonna be wrapped around your little finger. Number one, text him his name and then don't answer. None, done, we're ghost, we're gone. There is no response after that. He is going to be first kind of freaking out, kind of shitting himself, but then he's gonna get into like, oh crap, I really wanna know what she wants to say, whatever, and be so invested in you and in that conversation for as long as you don't answer. And then once it is a couple hours, and when I say a couple, I mean about five, four to five hours later, then you can say, oh crap, I totally forgot what I was going to say. He will be wondering about it for days. Number two, hold eye contact with him. It makes him so nervous and it creates like this sex drive and it'll make him want you even more. It'll make him start that obsession with you. But you have to keep the eye contact like very strong and very not weird and awkward, but just like you're actually looking at him and you're looking directly into his eyes. My favorite thing in the world is telling a man that you don't know if he's your type. You're still kind of figuring it out. Now this will make him want to be your type. This will make him want to figure out what your type is and be that person for you. And he's going to be invested into thinking everything that you want from him and he's about to do that. Because men can't lose and now it's a game to him. And last but not least, tell him that you feel safe with him. Guys love to be in their masculine era and if you tell him that you feel safe with him, then he will be in that masculine era and that is exactly how he wants to feel with a woman. So good luck, but use this wisely. So you were playing mind games, huh? Is that how it is? Women seem to do the most, I swear. She first suggests to contact him and tell his name, but then she doesn't respond if he responds. Thinking the person will be curious as to why you even mentioned his name. If you don't answer when he says something, he will move on. Especially after saying something so strange and unexpected, According to her, you will have to wait four to five hours for a response. The second part is when you mention making eye contact. 
Sure, that demonstrates your interest in a person, but is that comparable to a first encounter? Because if that's the case, it may seem strange at first. It depends on the circumstances. But if you're going to make eye contact with someone, make it clear that you like him. Instead of giving him a thousand-yard stare. In response to the previous video, the blonde female shows her boobs. Taking your shirt off on a first date, I understand this is a joke. But Jez can't get her tits all out. Perhaps you were heading inside to eat, but still. I did not take this video too seriously, so it is whatever. But it's over. Then you're driving me home. And it... <laughs> For how severely... <laughs> severely you screwed my life up. <laughs>